hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how i made this beautiful sequence fish say gun so first of all because i don't want this to have any form of joining or that so i have to cut the the the, the i have to put the measurement of my client on a pattern paper a half length measurement so that i'll be able to close the darts then i'll use it to cut my pattern so this is it so this is the pattern paper i use so this is a half length so this is the dart i drew then i cut it and placed it on each other so that by me i've closed the dart so this is called dart manipulation i manipulated that by closing it because i want this gun to have a shape then this is the upper part the shoulder line where my hand is is the shoulder line so i i is an off shoulder dress but i'll do a walking sleeve so i had a sweet tart neck at the front so i took 3.5 inches for the off shoulder then by the sweet tart neck i came down i took five i took um 5.5 inches so from the 3.5 inches i slanted it down to the shoulder then if you see where my hand is this is where my walking sleeve is going to be it's a 2.5 inches width walking sleeve then it's then the ham hole so from here to this place is the half length of the client's then after that i started inputting my body measurements a bust measurement you can see the line below i added two inches for seam allowance then i came to the waist i inputted a waist measure added two inches same thing at the hip i inputted the hip measurement and added two inches so when i got to the knee point i what i did was that the hip measurement i subtracted 1.5 inches from it then i had my knee measurement so i added 1.5 inches for seam allowance it's advisable to for if for, for you to get your nail in order for it not to hold your customer leg or your leg from your knee point is advisable to come up by four inches to get it so to have that curvy length so from the knee point i had to slant it to the down point of the gun so what i did was that for me to get my width at the down point of the gun i took my hip measurement you can see where my hip measurement stopped then i added 10 inches the minimum you can add to this is six inches so it depends on how full you want it to be and i don't want my gun to have a straight edge so i came up by three inches then i curved it to meet the front part of the dress so this front part is going to serve as a pattern so this is me i've, I've cut out the front part so i'm going to use this front body to serve as a pattern in cutting the back part of this sequence dress so this is the back part of the dress i've placed my front bodies at the back part is on fold as you can see there's an extra material this is for my zipper allowance it's a 1.5 inches zipper allowance my clients like wearing a dress from the bottom so i had to add a zipper but you can make this without zip because the sequence is stretchy but she wants zip so i had to add a 1.5 inches zip allowance so because of that i'll be turning this a lining so at the down part i did something i want the back body of the dress to be longer than the front body so i had to come down by 3.5 inches to 4 inches you can do this as the length as you as you desire you can add six eight ten so by me i just wanted it a bit longer not too long so from the side of the dress where i'll be joining the back and front body i curved it to meet with the 3.5 inches that i added then coming to the upper part of the dress as you can see the neck of the back body i left it straight it's not curvy like that of the front i just left it straight this is how i will be leaving it so the front is curvy while the back is straight so i just left it in its original straight form so this off shoulder i came this off shoulder is a 3.5 inches off shoulder so i'm done cutting it out now so this is what we have so i'm going to use this to cut the lining so this is our knee point emphasizing on how the importance of subtracting minimum and like two inches or how how deep you want it from your hip to get so i've i used the um the bodies of the dress to cut the lining it was a short lining i had to cut a short line i don't want it to be long so it just came down by two three inches from the the knee curve 
where we have the nest i just came down by three inches so this is what i have i'll be going to the sewing machine now to turn this fabric with the lining so this is what i have i'm done turning the um fabric with the lining so this is the front part of the gun and this is the back part of the dress you can see how beautiful it is so i've already I fixed my zipper already as you can see i'm done fixing my zipper i'm going to show you what the back look like so this is what the back of the dress look like can you see with the lining see how short i did the lining then this is the back of the front if you can see there's something i did here you can see there is like an extra space like a space in the lining i did this on purpose like i added one um half inch on both sides i did it on purpose because this trashy is sorry the fabric is trashy and this lining i'm using is a suit lining it's not stretchy so i had it i needed to add half inch on the four sides of the body so that it will give some breathing space because this material is stretchy just in case the client added some weight and it will still enter her so that that's why i added few this thing so over to the next thing i'm going to do on this dress is that i'm going to put the two inches working sleeve i talked about i'm going to fix it here then i'll close it with the lining i'll cut it now so this is the two piece for the working sleeve you know i did um it was three i came down on the sh from the shoulder by three inches like the half shoulder is like three inches so this is seven inches on a straight line so on fold is going to be 3.5 so i'll be using half inches to join to the main body of the dress so i have these two and i cut a lining for it i've, I've turned it already as you can see i turned this part and i top stitch then this other part i didn't bother turning it because i'm going to fix the sleeve on it so this is all we have this is for the right shoulder why this is for the left shoulder so i did the same so i'll go back to the machine and fix this on the dress and i'll show you what i did so i've gone ahead to attach the working shoulder to the dress so this is it i've i'm done attaching it this is the front view this is the back it's kind of wet it's looking that because i added i needed to add water to iron it so i'm done with this i'm going to go join the side of the dress and i'll put the sleeve this dress is going to have a very short sleeve so at this point you can put whatever you like the design where she got this tie from is like um so organza was used for the sleeve like a big um a big organza with elastic but she preferred a small sleeve so at this point i'm going to join this cut my sleeve add it and show you the finished look but for the sleeve it depends on your choice whatever design of sleeve you want to use it's fine this is the end result of our dress can you see the fullness so this is what we have i started to do a long sleeve so at the shoulder part i started to add a monkey monkey tail feathers to give you this extra beauty so what do you think about this gun are you going to go try it i want to see your opinion in the comment section below and like and share this video please if you have not subscribed do it to subscribe until i come your way next time i love you god bless you bye